From Bad Monkey Studios in beautiful Amish country, heard throughout these fabulous United States and around the globe on the World Wide Web, this is The B Team with Corey and Jim. He's a hard sell, as, yeah, like, as, as a, like an action hero, you know? Yeah. Like when he played in movies like Con Air and, and The yeah. Rock, it just you're like, come on, man. Like, nobody's buying that guy as a hard ass. Well, especially now that he looks just like Cher. <laughs> no, he looks worse than Cher. He looks like Cher's grandma, man. Like, <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Have you ever met him? Old Nick Cage? Nick Cage? I wish. But yeah. I feel like if I did meet him, it'd be the last day I was alive. <laughs> that, dude's a, that dude's a full-on loose cannon, man. <laughs> I, I, his personal life has to be insane. It's probably It's probably worse than Charlie Sheen's. Ooh, really? I didn't know that. I truly didn't know that about him. I don't know it either. I'm just, no. this is all, this is all hypothetical. <laughs> this is all speculation based on his, just, his just, appearance. This is general personality in movies, man. <laughs> the way he acts. I'm like, it's, just, it's probably just a nonstop train of cocaine and hookers. Yeah. That's, that's, that's probably what I'm imagining it as. Oh, uh, we are the B team and we're talking about Nicolas Cage Nick. for some reason. The legend Gary. He just came up. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why. You know, how, he's, but... he's not Gary Busey nuts. No. But he's he's like he's something he's happened something. to Busey though, didn't it? Like oh, didn't man. he get like a TBI or something? Like he, somebody hit him in the head. I don't, <laughs> I don't I mean, he might have got kicked by a horse, man, because he He's crazy, like for real crazy. Oh yeah, and the best was uh, if you've seen the the well when they first came out, the little uh, I think it was Amazon Fire Sticks or something. Yeah, yeah, where he was their little spokesperson. Yes, for I him. did. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations to whomever got him to be serious enough yeah. to do that commercial. Can you be imagine being the director that has to rein him in. No, you know? I wouldn't want to. Yeah, that dude. As soon as that guy, the director, found out that Gary Busey was oh the celebrity God. in the commercial, <laughs> he probably was like, "I'm gonna need at least a million <laughs> up front." Saturn is made of hot molten fudge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, he is he is out <laughs> there. <laughs> He's super out there, man. <laughs> Excuse me. Speaking of out there, you told me about a little ditty. Um, you were perusing the Guinness Book of World Records. For 2016, just came out. Yeah, the 2016. You version. told me you told me about a little ditty that is the most incredible piece of information <laughs> no. I've heard about one human being in my life. And, and the book is jam packed. Oh it's yeah, it's absolutely jam packed with everything in the world. But I found it this story to be the most amazing. It is. There's nothing better. There's even nothing more so. It. Even more so than the guy with 28 digits, <laughs> fingers and toes. <laughs> Oh my God, it's your worst nightmare. Yeah, you see that dude wearing some flip flops? <laughs> I can't imagine it. <laughs> it's got to be no, open toe. Come on, toe. No, it's it's no, got to no. be open toe. Don't, you man. Can't, there's no width no. on a shoe standard size. No. Don't, 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 don't. Please don't. <sighs> Please Ooh. don't. All right. Anyway, I try to protect myself with a book. Did you see me hold the book up in front of my just face? Vomit, ruin so the whole book. Yeah. <laughs> the library would love me. <laughs> well, they already do. Oh yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's you get know, to this, this guy. This story. This fella. His name is Roy Sullivan, okay? an Irish guy. That's appropriate. <laughs> yeah. St. Patty's Day is coming up. He's a ranger, was a ranger, yeah. based at Shenandoah National Park in the Blue Ridge Mountains. He's been shocked by lightning. He's been struck by lightning seven times. That's not shocked. That's almost, he should have been dead after the first one. There's no doubt about it. Uh, based on data from USA's National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, the <laughs> odds of being hit are 12,000 to 1. That's a rising, pretty low. Yeah, it really is. I figured that would be a lot higher. But rising to 1 million to 1 in a given year. So the extraordinary case of Roy Sullivan from Virginia, who holds the record for most lightning strikes, survived <laughs> no less than seven. Who wants to be it's leading a, that category? <laughs> 
he doesn't. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> does. They, they have a picture of him in, in his uniform holding his, his Smokey the Bear hat. <laughs> it's got a big hole in the top of it. If that, Look at that. <laughs> if that were Smokey. Dude, he looks like Gene Hackman. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> Well, Hackman will <laughs> play him in the movie. Well, sure. After he got hit by lightning, he went and coached a high school basketball game. <laughs> <laughs> they won the state championship that year. <laughs> Hoosiers. Um, a ranger based at Shenandoah National Park in Blue Ridge Mountains, his first electrifying encounter took place in April 1942. While fleeing from a watchtower that had been set ablaze during a thunderstorm, Sullivan's right leg received a direct bolt of several million volts leaving a scorch mark and obliterating the nail on his big toe. God, why is that, that dude so must funny? have touched kids, man, because somebody <laughs> wanted him dead. Yeah. For real. <laughs> Little did he know that this was just the beginning of an ongoing battle with Mother Nature. Over the next 35 years, six further strikes left their mark. <laughs> <laughs> These would come to earn Roy the nickname Spark Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to read these to you. I, I know reading, flash, man. reading's not fun on the show, but uh, in uh, 1969, in July of 1969, his eyebrows were burned and his <laughs> wristwatch was destroyed while driving. This motherfucker look like Freddy Krueger. In July 1970, Kruger, excuse me, left shoulder was seared while in his garden. April 1972, <laughs> hair set on fire while in a guardhouse at work. <laughs> In a guardhouse, you're thinking, you're reading the you're paper, inside, man. You all good. You're 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 reading the paper, eating a a, a, cr- a crueler. Oh yeah, you know, mm-hmm. dipping it in a little, a little uh, coffee, little, little hot coffee. Joe. Yeah, maybe and, some and, hot and, chocolate. And like. t- <laughs> oh god, man. In night in uh, August of 1973, his hair was set on fire again and legs <laughs> seared while in his vehicle. This guy can't get away from it. it Roll like, your windows he's, he's up, not man. Safe. He's not safe. That's why they have air conditioning. In June 1976, his ankle was injured while walking. Well, what the hell does that have to do with me? <laughs> <laughs> lightning? They say anything about lightning. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Man. He sprained his ankle. Yeah. And then he was struck by lightning. <laughs> Ten years later. <laughs> like, what? Nobody cares yeah, about this. No moment. kidding. Yeah, in, in uh, June of 78, he he got a cavity. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, no. was, uh, this is all related. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in, uh, June of 77, his chest and stomach were burned while fishing on a boat. See, this, oh, he's retarded. Oh, my God. Listen to this. Listen to this. This is the best part of the entire story. That one And I promise you, I did not read this until just this moment. All right. And it is tragic. Tragically, Roy died from a (laughs) self-inflicted gunshot wound in 1983. (laughs) I don't know why that's so <laughs> hard. It's <laughs> 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 so fucked up. <laughs> that we are laughing at that. <laughs> Trying to get eight. He was like, We're we going to cap it at seven, baby. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> His wife's like, Honey, let's go camping this weekend. He's like, Oh, hell no. <laughs> he got tired of all the jokes about oh. Spark Ranger. He was like, I'm done. <laughs> it's been real. It's been real. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, we're going to hell, buddy. There's no doubt about oh. it. Oh, it's so fucked up. We laughed at that. But oh man, man. Oh, man. <laughs> that well, was unexpected, even for me. He's clearly stupid. <clears throat> Who fishes in the middle of a thunderstorm? <laughs> you see lightning. That's when you, you start get, paddling. You the know fuck what? Out of there. In at least oh, he was struck seven times. In at least four of those, he was outside. He doing had something. to hear. Right. Like, oh, there, oh there's s- a thunderstorm. Yeah. Going. Don't go outside. <clears throat> Oh, my God. That is funny. Man, I feel, I don't really feel bad for laughing, but no. it's horrible that we did. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Excuse me. How about DiCaprio, baby? 
Hey, he got one. Finally. He put, <laughs> 41. Pulled, the big, pulled the big statue. Oscar. How old were you when you got yours? Mine? Well, I've already egotted already <laughs> what? at the age of 15. You... It was a big year for me. Uh, egotted? Yeah. What is that? Emmy, <laughs> Grammy, Oscar, and a Tony. Egot. <laughs> There's only like six people that have ever done that. I'm one of them. <coughs> me and Whoopi. And Hugh Jackman, right? Huge Jackman. Ooh, if you know yeah, what I mean. I said it. What up? <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be a porn star with that name. Oh, yeah. You know it. Oh, yeah. I forgot to wish you a happy belated leap day. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's a big you deal, too. Man. It's a big deal. You too. Every four years, we get that extra day. Yeah. I didn't get anything done either on that day. I figured I would. You know, you get an extra day to do yeah. some work. Yeah. This is an extra day to kick me right in the dick. Yeah. <laughs> it's not well, as bad as old outlook. Sparky, though. Nope. <laughs> not as bad as Sparky. You're not the Spark Ranger. No, sir. That's for sure. No, sir. No, sir. Yeah, but uh, Leo, I mean, mm. uh, I don't know. I, I, I really don't have a opinion about him. I, I really don't. Yeah. I mean, he can act. There's no doubt about it. I mean, he's for real. Yeah. If, oh, if yeah. you doubt it, you just you have to go back to Gilbert what's even Gilbert. Great, man. Come on. Come on. If you don't think he can act, forget it. Boom. Yeah. I just think they, I mean, he ended up getting a lot of roles that were- I don't know. He just looked too young for him, I think, like when he was Howard Hughes. Yeah. Then and he uh he's buddies with Scorsese, man. So you yeah. know, he's gonna get yeah. he's gonna get some legit roles. Yeah. You know. But come on. He was solid in Wolf of Wall Street though. That was that was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. Pretty but good he's stuff. high on Quaaludes. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <clears throat> One of the funniest scenes in the movie. No, what about this? What did he get it for? What was the name of that? The, the Revenant. Rev- Revenant? Yeah. What's what's the Well, I know that? why he won the Oscar for the movie. He fights a bear and it fist oh, yeah, fights that's it. That's gonna do it. Come on, man. Who's who's beating that? Okay, you could have put you could put Denzel mm-hmm. in in Malcolm X, which he didn't win, or Training Day, which he did win for, up against a bear fight. DiCaprio, it's coming out on top every time. Yeah. Tom Hanks, shut up. Mm-hmm. You're Sit not down. beating a bear fight. Yeah. What have you done? Like that? Nothing. Rolled around with a beach ball. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You got it on with some Wilson ball. Mm-hmm. Couple times in a movie, grew a beard out, speared a fish, didn't fight a bear. There you go. Next question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of questions, um, oh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> guess guess what? It's time you for you got to repay. You got to repay. Mm-hmm. Throw thirty seconds on the clock. <laughs> you got to repay me I for do. the rapid fire questions that I gave you last week. It is time for rapid fire questions. I'm gonna try to answer these as slow as I can. Corey's the victim today. What do you mean as slow as you can? These are rapid fire, man. For Clickety you. clack, click, click, click. For you. I'll oh, I have to time. ask them like really fast. <laughs> I'll then... need time to process and think of my answer. That's not what this is about. I know. Come on. I'm just throwing you off your game. See, I'm trying to win. You do... <laughs> 30 seconds. What's the what's the prize? What do I win? 10, 13 cents? My love. I'll take my it. My love. That's, that's verbal contract. <laughs> That's a verbal contract. That's I'll play this in court. Tell them the premise of the game, just in case they didn't listen to last week. It was my I was up last week. You were up last week. Mm-hmm. Um, I prepared a set of questions twenty, twenty or so. Yeah, that uh, you had no idea about. I did not. It's completely uh, blind coming in, mm-hmm. and then I read them to you as fast as you could answer them. And that was uh, it was it, and it's just in a sense to get a li- little bit more knowledge base of me and you. Mm-hmm. You know, get to know us a little better. Yeah, so I, there were some food related questions. There were some superhero related questions. Yeah, uh, my favorite things. There was also um, a sexual question mm-hmm. in reference to a yeti. Always. But if you haven't listened to the episode, I'm not going to spoil it. No. Go back and listen. Go back and listen. Go back and check that out. That's a good episode. But right now, it's my turn. <clears throat> I'm in the hot seat. <laughs> Let me phone a friend. Okay. Now, do I say the question number as we go along? No, or no, I just, no, no. I'm just no, firing no. through. Yep, just, just you just you just throw okay. the question out. I I'm will so provide nervous. an answer. You're nervous. I'm the one half to answer. I got cards. It's like a real game show. Here we go. This is like a real game show. <clears throat> Thirty seconds on the clock. Boop. Here we go. Morning, noon, or night? Noon. Baked potato or fries? Fries. If you could live anywhere. Where would it be? Alaska. Penis or cock? Hmm, cock. Weapon of choice? 
Katana. Favorite flower? Rosebud. Last movie you saw? Ah, uh, The Intern. What size is your bed? Queen. Yeah. How many tattoos do I have? At least seven that I know about. How do you want to die? Mm. Naked. <laughs> <laughs> Women. What are they about? A bunch of hot stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Depp, Pitt, McConaughey, or Gyllenhaal? Come on. Gyllenhaal all day. No, stop it. <laughs> Favorite ice cream flavor? Ooh. You know what? Uh, it's the caramel core from Ben and Jerry's. Mm. Salted caramel. Yeah. It's delicious. Favorite swear word? Fuck. Boxers or briefs? Box of briefs. Boom. <laughs> what was your best day? My best day? Uh, right now, so the day my baby was born. No. Oh. Yeah. Dead or alive? Always dead. Bring it. Favorite cut of meat? Ooh, tenderloin. Any kind of tenderloin. What? <laughs> tenderloin. Any kind of tenderloin. <laughs> <laughs> or bacon. The softest one. <laughs> yeah. It's so good, <laughs> The though. most succulent one. Who was your favorite teacher? Oh. Uh, uh, Roy Shoulders. What does your name mean? My name? Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what it means? For real? Like, this is... It's that a, was the question. It's what a, does your name mean? It's, a, it's like a river. Yeah, that's what it means. Like or, a river? It's something like a river or some kind of a Something stream. like a river is yeah. what your name Look means? Look that up. It's, I think it's Gaelic. Potentially Irish. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I didn't name me. And that's it. That's the end of our rapid <clears throat> fire questions. Oh, pressure. Pressure off. Pressure off. It's pretty good. A few of those were surprises. They were. Uh, yeah. Even to you probably. You're like, I forgot I wrote those. Yeah. <laughs> those are good questions. No, your answers were surprises to me. Yeah, I me, too. me too. Me <laughs> too. I don't. I don't particularly like the penis and or cock. I pick cock as I know. you know as a bird. Mm-hmm. I thought you were assuming the chickens. <laughs> you know, maybe not. I don't know. Penis or chicken? I don't know. Nice. Well, you know, I'm into chicken, not roosters, but chickens. Mm-hmm. But I don't. Okay. Wanna, I don't want to waste any time on that motherfucker. <clears throat> <laughs> Too late. I got to. Well, sure. <laughs> I got to tell you something I saw today. I was looking for stuff for the show. So I was, you know, scrolling through my news stories, and I forgot, just in, in life in general, that there's professional yo-yoers, like the <laughs> yo-yo for real, like for a yeah. job. Yeah. It's their thing, which is ridiculous, but if you want to devote your time to that, then, you know, go for it. Uh, but anyway, I stumbled upon a, uh, and it wasn't even that, like, like, it wasn't even like the national or like the world yo-yo championship. <laughs> Okay. All right. It was like the <laughs> South Pacific Regional <laughs> Championship. Like, like, I feel like it was a qualifier for yeah, the Nationals yeah. or something, you know? Yeah. And there was a video of it, and there's a dude named Evan Nagayo. Evan? Or Nagayo. I don't It's well, the, the last name is N-A-G-A-O. Mm-hmm. I'll let you decide. This is a choose your own adventure. I decided before I even heard his last name. Go. Well, he's a yo-yoer. But anyway, <laughs> okay. Now, don't get me wrong. He was doing some cool stuff with the yo-yo and stuff, but it was sure. hilarious because imagine, if you will, a high school talent show. Okay. Okay. You've got that in your mind. You got the curtain in the auditorium. You know. Yeah. Okay. It was just that, and they hung up a banner with like seven <laughs> sponsors. Yeah. You know, they're like it wasn't of nothing you've heard of unless you yo-yo. You no, know. No Dale's transmission. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Inner roller locker. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't read them. I didn't care. Um, but this dude was like flinging it around and stuff. And then the funniest part to me was <coughs> apparently they they rank like showmanship for your yo-yo skills. So this dude was was like whipping his yo-yo around. And he'd be like, "Woo!" <laughs> and like people, people out in the crowd, were like, "Yeah!" Or like, or like, "Ooh!" You know? Like I was like, I was like, he's fucking flipping a yo-yo around. Man. I mean, I mean, was there music? Yeah, he did he have music? music? Yeah, okay. but and and the the cool thing that he did was like he tried to yo-yo to the beat. Oh which yeah, I was like, okay, yeah. was, you know, all right, you know, clearly yeah. you've spent a lot of time in your garage in front of a mm. mirror doing this, but yeah. I just thought it was ridiculous, man. I was like, I just forgot that that was a thing. 
Yo-yoing is one of those things I associate for some reason. I associate yo-yoing with um, <laughs> with roller skating. <laughs> Not rollerblading. I almost no. said rollerblading, no. but no. Roller skating with the four the yeah. four wheels. Yeah. Every time I think of roller skating, mm-hmm. like I think of a dude, okay? This is every time. Anybody mentions like a roller uh rink, yeah. uh roller derby. It doesn't anytime you mention roller skates, instantly pops into my head, okay? Thin okay. build, probably about six feet tall. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh a mustache. Only yeah. a mustache. Yeah. A perm. Yes. Brown colored hair. Uh, a tight turtleneck. Super high 70s gym shorts. Mm-hmm. Tube socks. Mm-hmm. Roller skates. Here's the kicker. <laughs> a whistle. Because yeah. he's the dude yeah. rolling backwards, policing folks yeah. around the roller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just staring him down. With the big aviators. Oh, too. yeah. The but oversized the, but, but aviators. not the glasses. No. Prescription. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. huge prescription lenses, man. Yeah. Every time. <laughs> I feel like I've seen that guy before, like for real, like in real life. Well, if you lived in 1976, you did see that guy. <laughs> I, I didn't. <laughs> so I think maybe in a past life. <laughs> Every time, man. I think you're right on. Oh, I know I am. Yeah. That dude did exist. But yeah, yo-yoing and and, and uh, roller skating, for, for some reason, those two things will pop into my head. I don't know if maybe I saw a guy. <laughs> Yo-yoing while he was roller skating at some That's point in my, my early days. Yeah, think <clears throat> about walking the dog <clears throat> while roller skating and the yo-yoing. See now, did you ever have the the roller skating like at your school? No, like at your at your no. elementary. We used to have I, I like a team. It, it was like once one day a week. No, one day a week. Somebody I don't know if it was a private company or if the school owned it or what. Somebody would show up with these humongous uh like lockers filled with um roller skates and you would go yeah you would go to your school it it would start like right after school and go till like six or seven o'clock uh you would pay i don't know what it was a quarter 50 cents or something rent a pair of skates put them on and roll around in the gym roller skate around in the gym no yeah yeah nope when i was a young one kudos to that person yeah. But you know what what you know what was really going on there though. Oh yeah. Yeah, somebody was touching somebody's little dummy. Oh yeah, cuz that, yeah. that's all he's doing is looking for bait. Yeah. <laughs> well, we didn't know that back then. No. We didn't Nobody have pedophiles did. back then. Nobody did. No, you just had weird guys. Yeah. That turned out to be serial killing pedophiles. Yeah. Well, now they would. You be. you had a couple kids come up missing. <laughs> yeah. Clearly oh, from sure. grade school. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. A couple milk cartons. They found out later. <laughs> Tracked it back. Okay. Yeah. Roller skate guy. We had that. Some pretty good memories of that that time. Yeah. <clears throat> they play the well, music. Not roller they, had, skating. they would have like the disco ball mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. hanging up in there and the the music and yeah, yeah. we had we had one had in couple that. skating. That's when you oh yeah your that's heart a, went pity patty. Well yeah sure, but then that's when everybody like that's when you were like skating with the one chick that the other dude wanted to be with and he'd get all mad. You ever no. see that go down? No, we were we were at that age. We were at that. We were little kids, right? We were little, so it was just, when they would do the couples dance. There was only like one or two kids that would do, usually like brother and sister or something. Ew, ew. yeah, yeah. It, because the boys would stay on one side, the girls would stay on the other, and you just look at each other. Yeah, oh, until yeah. they went back to regular skate. Yeah, and yeah, then everybody would. <laughs> yeah, and the guy that. with the whistle. He yeah, would, he would. Oh, and yeah, he'd be out there in the middle too. Just yeah. doing moves like backwards skating. Yeah, that's what like I mean. Doing that. that. <laughs> doing that whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's the best. Yeah. It's the best. To devote your time to learn how to do that, man. Good for you. Good for you, man. I can think of so much stuff I'd rather do. <coughs> get get bitten by a dog. Yeah. Be, uh, be higher on my list than learning how to roller skate backwards. <laughs> for real. Wow. What happened to Sore you? Sore spot. I don't know. Because, like, mm. you know, you go, you go roller skating, and you always – the guy who did that always was the biggest douche every time. Yeah. Because he always yep. had a douchey attitude about being able to roller skate backwards, <laughs> so just rubbing the wrong way. I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Backwards <laughs> skating. But he was like, oh, yeah, like trying to show off. Like, yeah. just stop. you roller skating, bro. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You're better than that. You're better. But you're not. <laughs> but you're not. But yeah. you're better than that. Come on. Do something more productive with your time. Mm. You know? Yeah, that's my thing. That's my cross to bear. And he was the, always the one that had the um, 
the denim sk- skates. <laughs> Everybody else, you either had black or white. They were custom. You either had yeah. black or white. He, he had, had custom. denim. They were yeah. bedazzled somehow. Yeah. <laughs> he like bedazzled a Nike swoosh in there, even yeah. though Nike's he, never made roller skates. He owned his own pair of skates. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the guy that purchased his own. <laughs> Custom skates. <laughs> Had his name etched into the wheels and stuff. Thanks, Pepsi Max, too, by the way. Oh, we yeah. to give them a shout out. I didn't it's delicious. I just hadn't got to it yet. You didn't even crack Had yours so open. No. Nope. Crack it open. Not yet. Crack it open. I'm going to get angry. You can't. It's my body. You can't make me I, do what yeah. I don't want to do. It's called rape. No means no. Well, that's true, but I'm going to make you open that can, or I'm going to do it. Mm. Are we are we do it for a break? We should be jumping oh, in news here. No, we better jump on a break right now. All right. Fair enough. So, we will be back. This segment is brought to you by Stuffed with Love Taxidermy. No pet too small. Give us a call. Ask about our goldfish and turtle discount. That's Stuffed with Love Taxidermy. Check out our website, fluffyforever.com. If I was able to bear children... I'd let Corey and Jim try to tame this filly. Brought to you by Verdant Fields Nudist Camp. Get in touch with your outer self. Enjoy ping pong, volleyball, and our famous bottomless buffet. Visit our website at www.buffisbeautiful.com. And we're back. Got a little news story. Yeah? Well, it's not a little news. I thought it was amusing. Okay. This, is, this happened in Melbourne, or Melbourne, just depending on how you want to say it, Australia. Oh. Down under. <laughs> G'day. G'day. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, so, little four-year-old kid. Oh, just a little guy. Him and his dad. They go out on a little 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 trip for the afternoon. Okay. Did they go walk about? Yeah, a little walk about, if you will. <laughs> I don't know what they call it down in the uh, down under, but a walk about. So <laughs> this kid happens to see a vending machine. First time he's ever seen one. Wait, so, what? Yeah, four year old. First time he's ever seen a vending machine in his life. Is he like Aborigine or is he? No, 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 no. Mm-mm. He, what? I mean, he had glasses, so I don't know. Okay, so far to me, that is the most fascinating part of the story. Right. It's, right there. I mean, it's a little odd. He's four. So I'm going to make Maybe. a note of that. We might come back to that. Etch that down. Okay. So anyway, he goes over. And now, now this, is, this is not like an animal vending machine. This is for food. It's got candy okay. and stuff in it, you know? Yeah. So as he walks over, you know, they always put the good stuff towards the bottom. What in the hell is an animal vending machine? A stuffed <laughs> animal. Stuffed okay. animal. Okay. Just because I didn't throw stuffed in there. Okay. God, this guy. Anyway, interruption much. No, sorry, but <laughs> animal vending machine. <laughs> Maybe it's some fine meats that you could get. Maybe it's refrigerated. I, I don't know. I apologize. Uh, so anyway, it's got candies. Uh, of course, he locks eyes with an Oreo package, as any good four-year-old boy would. Now, has he seen Oreos before? I'm assuming. Okay. Because come, come on. If he hadn't, I'd have been like, this kid deserved to get hit by a truck. Yeah. But that's so bad to say. That's wow. horrible. He, okay, he doesn't. This seems his to be dad that kind, does. This seems to be that kind of show, yeah, though. We're just so. going way yeah. overboard, so yeah. we might as well just yeah. keep old Sparky. Yeah. Anyway, so he goes, He goes. you know, he has no right concept of what a vending machine is, so he doesn't put any money in anything like that. He just goes straight in, reaching okay. for the Oreo package. Well, apparently in Australia... It, they're tricky enough in America, but in mm-hmm. Australia, they're like, you know what? We're going to put an anti-theft device on this vending what? machine, which essentially trapped this little boy's arm in the vending machine. He couldn't get it out. So in in his mind, first time he comes across a vending machine, it tries to eat him. It tries to just kill him, yeah. Just, oh, my It's horrifying. Gosh. Horrifying for this Of for course this child. it would be four years old. Yeah. yeah. You, know what? you have no clue what's about nope. what's happening. No. Nope. So – uh, to make this story even longer, uh, they uh, paramedics, I think we're called, you know, try to get him out, that kind of stuff, fire. And uh, they try to use normal, you know, mechanical tools, try to cut him out. 
which is scared this kid even more because yeah. you got like, you know, jaws of life yeah. right next to you trying to just cut the crap out of this yeah. vending machine. So he's terrified, as you would expect him to be. And six hours later, six hours, six hours later, they oh end up freeing the God. child. And uh, my favorite part, though, my favorite part about this entire story was the quote from dad. <laughs> At the very end. Okay. And it reads as such. He was a bit inquisitive, but he's good now. <laughs> <laughs> his, his questions have been answered. Yeah. <laughs> Not curious anymore. He's like, you know what? I don't need to know. If I don't know, I don't need to know about it. You know what I know about Australia? Other than it houses... Like nine of the planet's 12 deadliest animals. All of the firefighters there are named Bruce. <laughs> Everybody. Yeah. You no, know, like all of our all of our cops and firefighters have mustaches. Yeah. Yeah. All all their cops and firefighters are named Bruce. Named Bruce? Yeah. Hello, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Yeah. If you just call a guy Bruce nine times out of ten. He yeah. either works in fire He's, or yeah. policing. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And those dudes, there's some tough monkeys They're down funny, there. Though. Funny. Oh yeah, yeah. But they could pound nails with their faces, man, and just go right back to drinking. They don't care. They they don't. Care. They're not Irish. No, <laughs> they're Australian. Yes, you just described an Irishman. To me. <laughs> <laughs> I've not I've not known the Australians for being yeah. uh, heavy drinkers. Mm-hmm. Maybe the rugby guys. Yeah, you know, maybe those. They're guys. all like rugby guys. Even the girls are like rugby guys. I don't know. No. Australian chicks, man, are usually pretty hot. Yeah. Ones that, the ones that make it over here. <laughs> yeah. They don't send They make the, it over here for a reason. They don't friend. send the ugly ones. No. <laughs> like, you know what? Just hang back. Yeah. Okay, let her let her follow her dreams. You just hang out here. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got all this desert yeah. you can go play in. There's stuff out there. Go Stuff's find it. Going There's on. kangaroos. You know? <clears throat> Koalas, as they say. The funniest thing I ever heard about Australian dudes were like in the military. They would they would get guys shipped down there to train, like from the United States or from you know uh, yeah. Great Britain, something like that. And so the Australian guys would mess with them and say they'd see the koalas and stuff in the trees, and they'd say you, you watch out because they'll jump down and, and and maul you. Yeah. And so dudes were all tripping out, like the koalas, like they're one of the most docile animals on the planet. <laughs> so dude, they just have fun and make fun of these dudes. It was, it's, uh, I was like, that's hilarious. Can you imagine being twitchy because of <laughs> those koala? Are- oh my. <laughs> The size of the nose alone. Would, would, <laughs> yeah. I was like, what if he sucks out my brain with his nose? Yeah. I don't know what he's going to do with that thing. Mm-mm. Can't Mm-mm. trust him. He's up to no good. First of all, he's real clingy, you know? I, you never see yeah. a koala walking on the ground, do you? I, I don't nope. know. I don't think the picture exists. They're always on a tree or eating some kind of a leaf. That's just a distraction, the leaf is. I, either- saw, I saw a video of uh, two kangaroo. Or there's just two of them. They're kangaroo. <laughs> there are two of them, and they were they were fighting in like the middle of of a neighborhood. Yeah, dude, they don't play. They were going at it they too. Box, bro. Yeah, real. and kicking each other too. They they uh, those huge feet. They lean back on the tail. They mm-hmm. use that tail to beat to, ass. Yeah, yeah. It's cool looking. They lean back and they just start wailing with those huge big feet. <laughs> <laughs> Again, yeah. right. This has been the, the show for you and feet, man. Yeah, it has been. You got 28 toe, dude. No, man. No. Could you imagine a 20, no. 28 toed kangaroo coming at you? Uh, to me, to you know what? Your face off. A guy who just has a bunch of uh, extra digits and appendages and that sort of thing, that's not breaking a record. That's that's just being a freak, man. I'm sorry. That's being, it's being gross. Yeah. Cut those off, man. But you know what? The record I'm going for right now, the one I'm, I'm going to work at, I want the largest abdominal apron. You know what? Do you know what that is? No. It's it's for fat guys. Okay. Well, fatter guys than me. Yeah, and there are a few of those. There's like sure. seven of them. And uh, come on. But it, it's when when you when you get so fat in front, yeah, that the fat grows like down, like the uh, abdominal apron yeah. is what. Covers. <laughs> But it goes yeah. way down in front. If you get a guy with a good abdominal apron, oh, yeah. okay, yeah. It, he could be standing right in front of you completely nude. You won't even see his junk. <laughs> no, I he's know. got the apron. And there's not a shirt on the planet that can contain that thing. No. Not even a 6X, dude. You're going to get some belly hanging <laughs> yeah, underneath. Yeah. You're going to get yeah. some. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you something. 
uh, under boob is sexy, <laughs> but but the under apron is not so sexy. No, because you're not. I, come on, how you clean it under there? You're not. You got, you've got to lift mm. all that apron up and then get, get deep yeah, enough. Yeah, get yeah. in there deep and yeah. then scoop. Yeah, <laughs> not just brush. No, then you're just going to be moving stuff around. <laughs> You got to get in there and hook action, yeah, and pull. Because yeah. <laughs> there's going to be all kinds of lint, uh, yeah. probably some food items. Mm-hmm. I'd imagine, guaranteed. Um, yeah, fungi, some kind, maybe even some yeah, mushrooms. You do grow mold. Uh, yeah, oh, I would sure. imagine on your on your apron if your apron is <laughs> on big your enough. Un, on your under apron, <laughs> your under apron. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, that's oh, the, well. that's the record I'm going for. So I'm gonna see what I can do about that. <laughs> <laughs> Would have to get up there around the six, seven hundred. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You gonna range. have to start eating a lot more. All right. Challenge accept that accepted. Challenge. <laughs> Nothing good, too. No protein. All carbs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I see you try to eat protein, nope. I'm coming no, at sir. you. Even anything that's a carbohydrate infused with protein, <laughs> like a fiber bar or something. Yeah. Uh-uh. Fiber bar. I'm please. gonna slap it right that out of your hand. Sounds too healthy. It is. Even with chocolate. It's too healthy for what you're trying to do. You're trying to get the man apron of all man aprons. Pudding, pizza, the big P, the peas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pudding, pizza, and pudding pops. Yeah, <laughs> and pizza pops. <laughs> I don't know. That, there's only two peas that you can yeah. think of. There, you're like, yeah, it's pudding and pizza, and that's yeah. it. I'll I'll live on those. Yeah, because you can't. Most other pea related foods that I can think of right now are healthy. Peas. Yeah. Pineapples. Pizzone. They have the Pizzone at Pizza Hut. Ah, nice. Yeah. Add it to the list. <laughs> Pizzone. I forgot about that. I know, me too. Do they even do they have I those? don't think so. I don't know. Calzones are underrated, man. That's a good food. Yeah. It's just a folded up pizza. Sure it is. Sure But it, it keeps is. everything contained. It's What's the difference between the Calzone and the Stromboli? I think this, isn't the Stromboli like rolled? It's like, a, it's, like a, it's like a Swiss roll. It's awesome. But pizza. It is absolutely awesome. I don't know what the difference is. It's more of a more of a roll. Where whereas a calzone is a is like a fry pie. You know? Mm. It's just a half pizza folded and stamped. Mm. Pie. That's the other P. <laughs> yeah. God, we're we're expanding our knowledge yeah. today. Our food knowledge. You're making me hungry though. It's a good thing I ate before I came over. Well, you got a ways to go before you get I've I've got to start. I've got Dude, a starter apron. <laughs> You've got to... listen, listen. If I put my mind to it, yeah. I'd catch you in a year. <laughs> <laughs> that would not be a problem. <laughs> I put on weight like a like a bodybuilder, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you give me a week and I could gain twenty pounds. Man, of solid girdle action. Well, it's easy to do. I mean, especially when you're an athlete. All you got to do is just cut out the athlete part. <laughs> yeah, just maintain stop the eating. doing everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's super easy to do. Yeah. That's why you see mo- like most of your like collegiate wrestlers yeah. that are like done. They stop wrestling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> they, they they get used to eating eating that, on that schedule because yeah. you burn a crap load of calories when you're rolling around with other dudes. And then, <laughs> and then you stop rolling around with other dudes and keep eating. What happens? If I were to start rolling with, rolling the, with dudes, the dudes, you man. probably shed some LBs. All right. Either that or you'd at least be able to maintain because you'd be able to consume the same amount of food <laughs> and you'd be good to go. Or even more. Yeah, even, even more. more. And then and maintain. Maintain your body. You know, that nice, but you got that nice V cut though mm-hmm. going on. Yeah. Slim waist, yeah. broad shoulders, yeah. you know, huge biceps. Mm-hmm. One, we don't have a lot of photos of you out no. out and about, but I didn't, dude. I got to tell you, this is so awesome. I Googled your name yeah, the other day. <laughs> and and to my surprise, your photo was one of the ones that came up on Google. What? Yeah. You're like the last one. You know how like if you Google something like a person, yeah. they'll have like the images? Yeah. Like Google images of who that person is. You yeah. made the list. You made the cut. What was I doing? It was one, <laughs> the one of you. <laughs> In the uh, safari hat, and then find out. Oh. <laughs> oh, so more recent. Yeah, more yeah, recent. Not, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. All right. But you made the list, dude. If you Google my name, I don't pop up. I don't think. I'll have to try. No, it. when I when I Google you, because I had an idea, a show idea. Yeah. But let's go ahead and discuss this now. Let's go ahead and have a yeah. production meeting right now. Yeah, let's do it. This is our um, show. We do it. Yeah. 
<laughs> but, but I I had an idea that that we would have on guest we would have a Corey Ellis another one oh yeah and a Jim Ginn oh and uh, yeah dude yeah. that's a great idea yeah let's do that yeah I find a guy and when so when I was looking for a Corey Ellis I I found this kid this guitar player kid with probably, long hair he's probably super yeah. legit too yeah probably really good <laughs> yeah better than Stevie right. <laughs> Mm-mm. Don't eat. Mm-mm. I just wanted yeah, no. to gauge your reaction. Well, I just wanted to gauge your reaction. Well, you almost got stabbed in the neck while you were trying to gauge. All right, gauge. If I could have got my pin out from my <laughs> your from my girdle? abdominal from my abdominal girdle <laughs> from my apron, if oh, I could have pulled it dude, out. See, there's the there's the, there's the mm-hmm. there's the window right there for being a big dude, man. If you can you hold can something, hide under all there? kinds of weapons, man. Yeah, I don't think I can. You can make it through. <coughs> nah, yeah. not yet. Nope. You got some ways to go on the boobs or the moobs, as they yeah. say. <laughs> That's just you got time. All right, you just work on it. I'm good. I'm going to the girdle though. You could probably throw something the under apron. that. Well, whatever. <laughs> Tomato, potato. Okay, <laughs> same thing. All right, girdle, apron. It's all. It's all the same. You started to talk about one of my favorite subjects. SRV, SRV, man. Yeah. Do you have a, an SRV I do have fact a, of the I day? Do. And it's in keeping with the time of year. March Madness. Okay. So let's open it up. Stevie, Stevie Ray. Stevie Ray fact of the day. Stevie Ray fact of the day. And the reason I threw the O on there instead of of is because this fact <sighs> yeah. happens to deal with Ireland. He what? hated leprechauns. And that's your Stevie oh Ray God. fact of the day. <laughs> you pulled me in, man. You had me. You had me. And I was like, wait, You got what? excited. You're Stevie like, I'm Ray Irish. In Ireland? Yeah. Yeah. He probably never even toured over there for fear he was going to be attacked by a leprechaun. See, I'm Irish in, in name, but my wife is legit Irish. Yeah. She With doesn't the even accent know Stevie and Ray. She doesn't even know Stevie no, Ray. No, I said he wouldn't set foot on that island. Because he doesn't like leprechauns, is that what He's you said? A deathly afraid of them. <laughs> Most people don't know that. See, I have a contact now. See, since we've been doing the show, I've gotten in touch with some friends and family members. Get a little deeper insight to Mr. Vaughn. They, they dropped that little Debbie on Denny on me today. I said, "Hey, we got a show coming up today. I need, I need a fact. I need something so good that nobody else out there in, in the interweb knows it." And I said, "Okay, we'll lay it on you." Hated leprechauns. We'll lay it on you. That's what that's what this family member said to you. Well, that was email. their words. I, that's I'm my interpretation this. of what they said. Okay, I'm not. I didn't take anything verbatim other than the fact that they put in quotation marks on one of his dying words. <laughs> I hate leprechauns. That is horrible. <laughs> I hope you have a nice, safe drive home tonight because my friend. I make it as safe as I want it to be, okay? The Grim Reaper is going to be hiding behind every tree he always on is. your way home. Trees are dangerous. <laughs> they can fall and kill you. I heard a horrible story the other day about a tree limb falling and killing a little baby at uh, yeah. daycare. It's yeah. horrible. We've actually had Stupid a few trees. You know, out here, in, if, if the listeners don't know, I'm in the middle Amish. of Amish country. Amish. Could, couldn't be more uh, Amish country. Uh, but, yeah, th- that's n- not uncommon. Yeah, for a kid to get, get smacked by, by a yeah. tree, man. Yeah, they're lethal. That yeah. now, now that makes sense. Lord of the Rings, man. You ever seen it? The trees start yeah. attacking people in that movie. Really? Yeah. Look, watch it. That, if you haven't seen it, watch it. Come after. I like people. when they play Quidditch. So yeah. is that the the end of your Stevie Ray fact today? Was that it for real? Yeah. That well, I mean, so I can lame. expound upon it. That's not lame. It's it's, it's a lame. healthy to have a fear of leprechauns. They're tricksters. Okay, just, and especially around this time of the year, it's when they people, it's when they see. Oh, people. you know what? That is true. Have you ever seen Darby O'Gill and the Little People? What? No. It's a movie, dude. I'm telling you, awesome. no, ju- please. It's before all the CGI and all that stuff, where they make somebody disappear. All they would do, you know, the director, all you do is be like, cut, and then yeah, the guy <laughs> would leave. The, yeah, everybody, then, everybody tries to hold still as yeah, much as possible. Yeah, yeah. And then and then react like like he's oh gonna, uh, he's gone so like the, like Congo that the, awesome yeah. scene from Congo yes acting is also react 
<laughs> they must have missed the memo of that movie. <laughs> Anywho, we've already talked about Congo yes. at length. But. Our favorite movie to hate. So but no, you. I have not seen that. Is that available on Netflix? No. Probably not. No. <laughs> Crackle? No. And Voodoo. as a matter of fact, my wife and I were going to buy it a couple oh, well, years ago. And this is an old it. movie. You can this get This is a it. movie from like the... 40s? Uh, yeah. Oh. Somewhere in there. Uh, you can you can get it, but it was expensive when we last what? tried. Uh, now, we have since. I, I think we have it now. I'll, I'll have to check that. with Hannah, but I I'll believe we have it. I'm borrowing Darby O'Gill and the Little People. What happens in it? Give me, well, before I even want to watch it, what happens? It's What's the premise of the movie? Pot of gold. That's it? Yeah, he wants it. So, that sounds super you awesome. <laughs> I'll, give you a, to... I'll give you an awesome movie. This is what right. I do. I'll tell you. What, are we we got to go. We got a break? No, I just have to do uh, do some emails. Oh, we'll get to ahead. emails. We'll get to emails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go ahead. St. Patty's Day is right around the corner. It's coming up. It is, yeah. Um, I have a little tradition that I'm going to lay. Well, I'm going to. It's a, it's a tradition for me, but I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to enlighten our listeners, if you will, if they're into the uh, spirits. Oh. In the in the uh, drinking adult beverages, mm-hmm. a little game, guaranteed, <laughs> sir, <laughs> guaranteed to get you hammered. All right, uh, I don't know if anybody's familiar with the actor Warwick Davis. Yeah, I know guy. you are, little fellow. I, love I him. am. I love him. He's been in a ton of stuff. He really has. Uh, he's probably the most famous little person actor, minus dude from now from uh, what, Game of Thrones. Yeah. But anyway, he starred in a, a series of awesome, awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna put in quotation horror films. Yeah. In the uh, early '90s and early 2000s. Yep. Uh, the Leprechaun series yep. of movies. If you haven't checked those out, do yourself a favor yep. and watch them. Yep. Here's 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 a bonus for you. The first, the very first one, Jennifer Aniston's in it. <laughs> a young Jennifer Aniston. Okay. You, you can you imagine. Know what I mean, you can imagine. Mm-hmm. And it's insane that she's in that movie, but she actually is. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so that's my tradition. On on uh, the 17th of March, I watch as many of those movies in one day as I can. <laughs> Do you really? Yes. Nice. I cherish them. But yeah. anyway, the drinking game is anytime you see the leprechaun in the movies, you got to drink. Now you're like, oh, well, of course I'm going to get hammered. See, but he's kind of sparse in the first one. Like, you see him a little bit, and then as the movie progresses more and more. But by the end of the night, yeah, you're going to be blacked out and throwing bottles at your kids. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Not that I've done that. No. But that's what will happen. So if you're looking for something to do, if you don't want to drink, at least watch the movies because they're hilarious. They're, They're dubbed as, like, comedy horror movies. Yeah. They're supposed to be funny. And they are. Yeah, because his accent, the way he does that, because he's he's done that in interviews before. They'll, so they'll he, have him do the little leprechaun from there, and he does that. That's really funny. It is. He's good, man. He's solid. But anyway, that's my thing. That's, so that's where we'll find you on the seventeenth. Yeah, absolutely, in my house. You won't find me out. No, drinking no, any green beer, buddy. No, sir. I'm gonna be watching Mr. Warwick up there, strutting <laughs> about in his little clickety clack black shoes. Can you do it? Can you say, give us a line? No. Nope. Why? Because I can't pull that off like he can. You can't try it? No. <laughs> Please? I don't. Uh, I got to I gotta warm up the chords for I- Irish. I got to warm up the chords. I can do certain things, okay? <laughs> I got a particular set of skills. All yes, right? you do. <laughs> but I'm going to need time to warm up to use those skills in order to... <laughs> I, I can't just, they're not just on command, okay? okay. Like Neeson can throat rip a dude oh, man. at any point in time. Me, I'd have to limber up. Well, he could in, in the first rip. Taken. But if you've watched the most recent Taken, <laughs> where they use all the, the uh, what, what the do they call it, double. stop motion. And <laughs> it almost looks like one of those claymation movies, the way they, <laughs> the way they do all those jump shots. And you, you, you can always <laughs> tell somebody is slow. In movies, yeah. when there's like chase scenes where they're running, mm-hmm. and they never put the camera to the side because yeah. <laughs> they made yeah. that mistake in Rocky. Yeah, you ever see yep. the part where he's sprinting? Yes. Yep. And they try to make it look really fast, but when yeah. the camera starts pulling ahead of Sylvester Stallone, you're like, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, we get it slow. slow. Yeah, 
<laughs> gotcha. That, and, dude, the, the, the scene in Rocky Three where him and Apollo Creed, one of the gayest movie scenes of all time, run on the beach. The, the part where Rocky actually beats him. Watch. <laughs> the, fun, the best part about that scene is watching Carl Weathers try to act fast but, yes. but run slow. It's the best thing ever. Because you can tell... There's no fool in anybody, man. He's not giving a- any effort at all to like like half ass keep up with Stallone until the very end. Like he has to make it look respectable. So he's like he's like jogging out of the gate, but using like real exaggerated poses and stuff. <laughs> like he's like he's crushing it. And then, <laughs> and then on the other hand, Stallone dude is about to throw up. He's running so hard, dude. He, he's like <laughs> you can see his face. <laughs> Just shake. You know how slow-mo, man, everything is accentuated? Dude's, <laughs> dude's cheeks are bouncing Looks up and like down, a man. bass and out. Oh, my God. Yeah. Weather's like just nothing, man. Yeah. Everything's still on him. He's just he's yeah. like looking over it like, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then he starts turning it on at the end. Oh, man. Oh, it's the best. Well, Sly's pretty top-heavy. Yeah, he is. But, yeah. Yes. So. He is. <laughs> but it's so funny. It's so funny. Oh, my goodness. It's one of my favorite movie scenes yeah, of all time. Just tell. that part. And then to cap it off, they dance in the water together. Yeah. They hug. <laughs> it's, it's, a, a, it's a true bromance. It's not Top Gun gay. No. no, no. <laughs> There's nothing gayer than the shirtless <laughs> cut off the jeans sword volleyball. volleyball. I don't <laughs> Dude, that movie had to be written by a gay dude. <laughs> had to have. <laughs> it was a room scene where the dude's sitting. The guy walks up to him. <laughs> his wedding tackle hanging four inches from his face. Oh my god, dude! Val you Kilmer, know man. that movie was probably pitched as a gay porn movie first, and then yeah. someone's like, "No, nah, we could probably make a legit film out of this because <laughs> yeah. it's got the airplane." Let's, let's put a chick in for the instructor. Yeah. Boom! They're like, keep all the all the other stuff the same, <laughs> but we'll just make this one a female. <laughs> It'll fit. Yeah, dude. It, for, for like for for being an awesome movie, oh my gosh, it's it's definitely it's got the gayest undertones of any it does. movie. It does. It, does. it absolutely does. Because dudes are shirtless half the movie, and then they yeah. play volleyball together. Yeah. I don't get it. No, I don't I get don't. it. And lots of showers. They, <laughs> they shower, they play volleyball, they fly. Well, they got to shower after every flight. Yeah. A lot of jet fuel. You don't want to go up in flames. You know what I'm saying? Got to get that off you. You used to fly, you know. Yeah, that's That movie Not would probably. Not gay fly. Well, no, no, but that movie probably hits probably pretty close to home for you, yeah, though. No. No. no not the didn't, Navy. You didn't, you didn't shower up and. Mm-hmm. Lather play, up, play volleyball. We got to get the emails. All right. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> once again, I picked the top three emails Thrice. that we got. Top of the morning. Too. You see, there's the Irish right there. There. It, oh, there that was. It horrible, was. Though. And I missed out on it. Laddie. Uh, whew. I can hardly breathe after that last story. You got me on that one. You're welcome. Uh, Cutie Jesser says. I was in a shop in Dart Street in Surrey, and I think I saw Jim. Nope. I heard a voice and told my friend, that's Jim from the B team. Were you in Surrey on the second Friday in February? Are you super tall with white hair? I hope it was you. I took a selfie near you. (laughs) That's a real email. I'm going to say that wasn't you because you were not in Surrey. I was Um, not. I don't know who it could have been. It was probably somebody famous. No. What if it was? Uh, you know who I'm thinking of? Who? The what? What that person described? Jess Jesser there described um, is uh, what's his face? James Bond. He's bald now, but Sean Connery. Pierce Brosnan. No. Nope. Sean, Pierce like a, Brosnan. Like a Sean yeah. Connery that let himself go. She thought I was Pierce Brosnan. So no, nobody thought that. Thank you. No. Uh, Cutie Jesser. Cutie Jesser from Siri. We have a so lot of. We got a following. Over it was there. either me. We got to follow over in Surrey. We need to go. We should, we should do a remote in Surrey. Ryan Ray says. Is he friends with Ryan Reynolds? I, I can give him a call or email back. Email him. Okay. We'll get in touch. My credit score is 625. Oof. I'm considered good looking by some girls at school. All right. And I'm physically fit. That's cool. Why can't I get a girl to teabag me? It's all I really want. He was probably drunk when he Ryan wrote that. Because I don't think. You've got 
you've got some inconsistencies here. Okay. His credit score. Let's start with his credit score. Yeah. Six twenty five. Just down. That's that's average. Okay. It's not great, but it's not horrible. You know. But he's. I'm going to take by school. I'm going to. I'm going to assume college. he means college. Me too. So he's, he's nineteen. I, mean, to I would. I wouldn't 21. assume he'd have a credit score being in high school. Yeah. So it's got to be college. But at six twenty five. Well, I mean, he might have just you know, made, well, he made some stupid yeah. decisions, bought some inflatable stuff. Yeah. A couple cases of beer. Who knows? Maybe missed a few payments. Lube. Yeah. You know, all that good stuff. He's considered good looking by some girls at school. Mm. Yeah. Goths. Mm-hmm. Probably. And I'm physically fit. Now, what's that mean? That means, okay, well, this dude's probably catfishing us right now. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to peg him at about 320. Yeah. Or no, 375. Mm -hmm. Easy. The chicks that like him work at McDonald's and, (laughs) and, sir, are gothic, like I said. They're the goths. Because I'm sure he owns a trench coat Mm -hmm. that's black and he wears it. As far as the the chicks teabagging him. Yeah. Why can't he get a girl to teabag him? That's something stinks, doesn't it? Something smells. Well, his face. You know what? You know what it is? You know why he, he can't make it happen? His abdominal apron. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, this all ties and, uh, in. Yes. Yeah, you know how our shows are? Catfished. They always tie in. Catfished. Right yeah. now. He's not physically fit. <laughs> his apron. He would have He's to lift the He's got the girdle. He's yeah. got the, the apron up. The, the, man, the man apron. Yep. He said it's all he really wants, too, and that is so sad. For that's a, all he really a, wants. A woman to teabag him. Well, I, I take it that's what that means. That's his last Well, teabagging's line. for dudes. Though. Why can't I get a girl to teabag me? That, question mark. It's all I really want. Chicks don't have ball sacks, man. So, you know. To teabag like, yeah, him. Yeah, te- yeah. Teabagging is where you would. Uh, this is not safe for work, nor your children. <laughs> no. uh, yeah. Teabagging is when you dip your balls <laughs> into somebody's mouth. Yeah. That's dear. <laughs> yeah, and so, he so just he's it saying wrong. a chick. He what he wants is a woman to sit on his face. I'm oh. a, or he's into dudes' balls in his mouth. One or the other. Ryan <laughs> Ray. That's a that's a guy, isn't it? Ryan Ray. Well, that's two first names. How's Ryan spelled? Is there an E in it? R Y A N. Okay, that should be a dude, but it mm. could be a chick. Ryan Ryan can go both ways. I don't know. Usually, Ian. Ryan, I'm sorry, buddy. I, I can't help you with that. No. One. I pass. Can't, with the information we have. Pass. Okay. Write a better email next time. Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Tucky Buck. I know this uh, is going to be good. From Virginia or Kentucky. Tucky Buck says, Kentucky. I'm going to go one year without brushing my teeth, oh. and I bet I won't get a single cavity. My dentist told me that if I only use mouthwash and floss, I don't need to brush. I'll keep you updated. <laughs> I want to know. Yes. I want photos. Please. Number one. We're going to need photos. <laughs> this might end up in Guinness Guinness Book of World Records. He's going to go a year without brushing his teeth <sighs> and only floss and use mouthwash. Well, see, that's better than nothing. If he just did nothing for his full year, he'd definitely get cavities. But man, he's still going to get something. He's going to get something. He's going to get something. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not a dentist. Because that mouthwash is acidic. Yeah, he you know, he gets something. Yeah, because he's going to have the sugar on his teeth from the Mountain Dew. From the mount, well, the methamphetamines. Well, meth. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, he might not have teeth no. left. <laughs> what he's saying is he's got a few left. Now's the time to experiment before those dentures kick in. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure he's got Obamacare, baby. He's, he's going to get them dentures. <laughs> He'll get them dentures, buddy. And that's it. That closes up the mailbag. Zipper up. Sound effects. Nice. They're getting good. They're getting good. Man, not brushing your teeth for a year. Couldn't do that's it. That's pretty gross. Couldn't do it. No, man. If I if I accidentally forget to brush my teeth for a day. Oh, just that feeling. Yeah, it, it feels like I'm growing like little hair. Like on a, your yeah, on your yeah. teeth. It's the worst. Yeah, it is the worst. What do they call that on like little deer? What do they call that? The fuzz that the velvet. Velvet. Yeah, that's what it feels velvet. like on my teeth. If I don't, yeah. if I'm, yeah, it's like you got crest white strips on there, but the, but <laughs> yeah. not. You know? <laughs> but yeah, but the, the opposite. opposite. Yeah. But your teeth are getting worse. <laughs> like, eh. Fair yeah. enough. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do this for you because you didn't. If you could uh, 
Do oh. me a huge favor. Oh, uh, nice Pepsi Should Max. I? Go ahead, man. You can have it. I'm going to know. You can have you, it. you had an entire show. I, uh, I I'm feel sorry. ashamed for you and yeah. our sponsorship with Pepsi Max. <laughs> sorry. But what you need to do now, if you don't mind, just tell the folks how they contact us. Well, we got a lot of going. We got we got a little housekeeping. We got to get going on here. First of all, we got the, the website, point19productions.com. Get on there. Look around. See some Check funny it out. stuff. It's, it's not the best website ever, but it's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. We're not there yet. We're getting there. Yeah. Um, That's not where our concentration has been. Right. We are have been concentrating heavily on social media. So Facebook. The, the, the B Team with Corey and Jim is our page. Um, check it out. We got a lot of, uh, we got a, we got some collabs out there. Mr. Smith, Shane, Shane Smith. Smith has been uh, helping us promote some with uh, his videos. Um, we've got uh, email, point19productions at gmail.com. Uh, it's where you can reach out uh, to us for show ideas, guest ideas, uh, any comments, concerns, questions you might have. Obviously, we try to pick the, uh, best three for each episode so if you're lucky yours might make it on um we got uh, twitter twitter sphere b team one nine you'll get uh if you follow us on uh, twitter you'll get all our updates as far as shows being dropped and uh any kind of little funny blurbs that we think of and then uh we obviously are on itunes soundcloud and stitcher for uh just easy downloads we're also on youtube as well, we will be having some more uh, content, videos, and sitch uh, coming out this year. And uh, we have shirts now, but uh, they're not for sale just yet. <laughs> we we uh, have them, but you can't have them. We've got them. That's right, but you can't. we got to let the anticipation grow just a little bit longer. <laughs> but uh, very, very soon, once we get a little admin stuff taken care of, uh, we will be able to not only uh, sell them, but uh, get them out to you. So we will have a, we'll be giving away a few, but uh, those people have already been chosen. So <laughs> don't expect a free one, lazy freeloader. Unless, unless you can lift my abdominal apron and Six get it times and get some work done. You got to bring something out though. If you go up in there and pull out nothing <laughs> so but stank, <laughs> I'm sorry, you just wasted your time. You only get one grab too. Oh man! All right, we ready to close this bitch up. I'm always ready. All right, sir. All I ask you to do is love somebody.